So to jump right into the video now and not ramble on, we're on episode 3 of the ARC series and as I said in the last video we were preparing the base for PvP and getting ready for the new Centre 2 map to drop so we could head over and hopefully get ourselves one of the prime base locations secured and hopefully hold it for 48 hours with no RP and many tribes fighting for the spots. For that we decided we need to hit up the Arbor Alpha Ascension but we didn't have much time, luckily for us the admins announced they were going to be running the boss for every everyone so we thought we'd quickly join it, get it knocked out to free up some time which then we could spend grinding out and farming for the launch of Centre 2. And that's exactly what we did but rather than show you all the stuff we did and the PvE I'll probably just montage that because it was like 5-6 days of grind and it's kind of a bit boring to watch. I've just sent you them. Yeah I got them. There you go bud. <coughs> cheers mate I appreciate it. See you later. Cheers cheers. Oh, you are on a white though. That is me. Baldy, 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 baldy. It's a nice bald head you've got there, Matt. Thanks. He's just watching the guy pike. Ah, oh, no worries. I can do it with my bare hands if you want. Once ever go down while I drop it. This is the way. Yeah, just put a sticky good on aggressive. Yeah. As soon as it's up, don't bite anything. Because she can, in that moment, uh, buy another giga. I sent you a thousand points because you're more likely to get in before me. So we'd farmed out quite well and we were really prepared to take the base spot on the Centre 2 map. But as always, when a new map drops on Ark, there's going to be a lot of competition. And on this server there was, we had 4 tribes turn up at Bear Cave when we were claiming and you'll see that throughout the video. Initially there was fighting inside, pure bob level stuff, however I was yet to get there and when I did there was already foundations that had been placed inside. So the only thing I could do was buy a giga with the points I had to clear the enemy foundations out as C4 this early was impossible and we needed to stop this before they got metal foundations down else they'd really have foundational coverage and we'd kind of be fucked. We'd also just got a new tribe member in to replace one of the inactive members that we had in the tribe. We weren't too bothered too much about most of the tribes that had turned up to fight us for the cave, however there was one tribe that stood out and that was Bull and Medita and they were the ones that turned up with the other three tribes so we were slightly concerned more about them than the other guys due to what you would only call as extraordinary PvP capabilities. They were very talented at this point and all we knew is they were extremely efficient at head on and just wiping and getting shit done. Are you sure about that? He died, he died. 
Or those just out of there. Oh, Can you break the other gates? Oh. I don't want to mesh, mesh bite as well, that's the thing, man. Because if they record. Coming back, coming back. He hit him. He killed himself. He killed himself. Get his body. Get his body if you can. Wait, wait. It's almost dead. It's almost dead. Oh no. He fucked up with his dash. Back, coming back, coming. Back. Can you? Can someone get the body? Can someone get the body? Right here, I think, right next to my head. Muscle. I'm not worried about muscle. Especially if you have a battle good way, you just go do it in a like, cupboard or something. Man. is me getting my tech engrams back as everyone that came over to center 2 they lost all their tech engrams which was a big fucking issue so there's nothing untoward or sketchy going on here but the admin done a good job of rushing and kind of getting everyone their tech back because if he didn't we'd have kind of been at a big disadvantage and potentially got fucked from this in itself as well as that we'd pushed quite a few tribes back we were holding the ground and the cave and we were pushing out spam and turrets outside to give us control of the area we'd seen in chat more people were coming for us so we were kind of preparing for that as well and we could still easily lose the cave if we didn't show people that we were gonna push them back as soon as they started trying to hit us So while everything was progressing on center, we'd noticed a few of our farming stations had been attacked on other maps by one specific tribe. But the good thing was we'd been planned and prepared and we'd scouted a lot of bases and the guys who attacked us, it was one of their bases we'd scouted. And since they decided to attack us, we chose to retaliate, but not by attacking some of equal size like the transmitters and stuff the blue, but we decided we'd wipe one of their main bases, which they built on one of the sides of the asteroids in a gem one lunar biome because nobody 
nobody really wants to raid that shit because it would be pretty fucking disgusting, but it was a terrible build. Now, since they'd done this a couple of times and we didn't feel like wiping their Gen 1 base would get the message across from the kind of vibe we were getting off them, we didn't really think that was enough damage. We'd noticed they'd started building up on Centre 2 and it wasn't that far from us in a bear cave. We'd start prepping and we'd go on the offensive. After we'd wiped the Gen 1 base while they were still panicking and thinking that was it, we'd directly start attacking them on Centre 2 and kind of press them a little bit more with the aims of wiping them. We also knew by putting the time and effort into wiping these guys, it would potentially come back to bite us in the arse, but it was a risk we were willing to take because if we were spending our time wiping these guys, we weren't defending and getting ready for the big tech fobs that would come our way inevitably on our main base on Centre 2, and we definitely weren't fully prepared for that yet. So the most efficient way was, I said I'd go over solo, I'd wipe the base online, get rid of it. As soon as I came back over, we were going to prep and we were going to hit their main base, and no matter how long it took, we knew they had to be wiped, and if we didn't wipe them, all that's going to happen with tribes like this, they're going to start pushing you, they're going to think you're weak, and inevitably it leads to a bunch of different tribes coming for you, and it's just a massive ball lake you really don't want on a game like this. You can't really show any signs of weakness, and you've got to be competitive all the time, or you're going to have multiple tribes hitting you, and if you don't push back, like I said, you kind of are fucked. Now, things will start heating up for us more. We knew we had a target on our back, and being quiet is really good early game. I think it's strategic, and it's kind of always what I do, and I tell my guys to stay out of chat so you can build up and be calculated in your decisions, but eventually that quietness starts to come across as weakness, and this is when the real tribes will try and test you but what i'll do is i'm just gonna let the rest of the video play out wait for a second one to put me in can get it off you just kill it where's his body at the turret just shot him I picked him, I picked him, I picked him. He's on me. Got to get the velo now. No, I got the velo out. Nice. Velo coming out, velo coming out. And, uh,. I picked him, I picked him. Come to the Giga. No, he's not, he's in me, he's in me, he's in my... Yeah. What else y'all need? I got bringing uh, six net, uh, bringing more net. Yeah, six nets. Velo is on the left side. The, uh, the Velo went inside too. I think that this is down. Yeah, yeah, it's down. It's down. I think if you can, if you can. Go for the perfect now. Any beds? You find any beds inside to take out? Okay. Damn, oh, nice. I have a bunch of metal. That's a good thing. Hey, what's this here? I'm killing us. Yeah, this should this should have uh, the juicy loot. If there's any. Hopefully you've enjoyed the series so far. Don't forget to drop a comment down below what you think about the series and hit that like button. Feel free to give the video a share and I really do appreciate you watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.